Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel and to a reading vlog. Um, yes, I have not been reading anything at all for a long time. The last book I read was definitely in 2020, so yeah, that's good. That's what I love that. It's really fun here when that happens. I've also been busy with school because I did go back to school and I'm doing nursing which is really exciting and a lot of work and really scary and also k-pop has been a thing oops that has really just taken over it really has just taken over so yeah all of my spare time is like dedicated to k-pop now i stand way so way more at groups than i ever thought i would i definitely thought i would be a be a bts person for life and i still am i still love them but i never thought that i would love all of these other groups like never and here I am. That's my shelf. Not a lot of albums compared to other people, but that's a lot. That's a lot. That's way more than I ever thought was gonna happen. There we go. There we go. There we go. Look at them. So nice. Love it. Love it. Love it. Anyways, yeah. Haven't been reading. Except today. Oh, did I even say the date? Oh, it's been so long. Today is uh, April the 29th. It's a Thursday. And today I listened to an entire audiobook while cleaning my room and it was The Wicker King by Kay Ancrum. So I listened to that and that is the first completed novel of 2021 for me. I read two um, comic booky uh, graphic novels. I read Fence 1 and Fence 2 by, I forget her name, C.S. Picat. Or something I don't know but I read those like early like back in January and so this is the first book that I have completed in 2021 and I'm so proud finally um I have books all over my bed because I just filmed a huge unhaul so please go check that out um but yeah I just thought I'd start a book haul a, vo a vlog sorry I just thought I would start a reading vlog to help motivate me to continue to read, especially while I'm off school until like the middle of May. So ample time to catch up on my reading goals. Not that I have any goals because it's already like May and I haven't read anything. I do have another book on the go. I have Sword of Destiny by Andre Sapkowski, which is the second novella bind up of the Witcher series. The first one was The Last Wish. I read that in crap i think it was 2020 and i watched the netflix show and i loved the netflix show and i really loved the book because it was a very um there was a lot of fairy tale retellings in that and you could really identify which fairy tales were being retold and all of the ways the author twist and turn the fairy tales and made it his own and i really really liked it and now i'm on the second and i don't think this one is also fairy tales nothing that i've picked up yet but i'm only 44 pages in I'm reading and I'm also listening to some on audiobook. So yeah, that's that. It's been going strong. I love it here. I don't think I'm reading anything else at the moment. I might try to pick up, that's um, that's Death Note Volume 3, might pick up that in between when I'm not like feeling the whole no novel, you know, vibe. <laughs> yeah, that's that. That is my little reading update for this week so far. Hopefully I will be able to finish this vlog, finish a book, and just be back in my reading zone because I miss it so much. Other than that, that's that's what's happening with me. So yeah, cool. Peace. <laughs>
gossip. I was faithful to you. May I finish this all through? Hello everyone, it is Saturday, May 1st. It's May 1st, oh my gosh. Wow, it's May 1st. Um, so yesterday I read a, a good amount of pages. Um, sorry, the lighting is just so weird right now because I have the window open, so I have the curtains drawn, but it's a little too bright and it's making me look not my best right now. Like I look a little pale. Not saying I usually look amazing when I wake up in the morning, but this, it's the colors I don't like. Anyways, I read I slash listened to a good portion of Sword of Destiny last night when I was doing my nails. I did my nails pink, as you saw, but then I was like, hmm, let's do an accent nail with polka dots. So I did an accent nail. Can you see that? Um, see? And then I was like, why stop at one nail? And then I did all the nails. I did all I did all the nails and I feel like I regret it it's a, it's a little too much I should have just stuck with the one nail I got a little crazy but it's fine we're just gonna go with it yeah we're just gonna go I still have to add the top coat I usually wait like a day or like a night before I do the top coat because um, I just want to make sure everything is completely dry before doing a top coat so I have to do the top coat and then this is what the nails are going to be for the next few days because my nails chip all the time and i just want like a good long lasting nail polish why can't i have that without going to the salon and getting dip powder i actually have a dip powder kit but i don't think the liquids are good because every time i try to do it they crack unless i'm doing it wrong i don't know i'm still trying to work out the dip powder because dip powder lasts really long and they make my nails like grow longer, faster because they're not being like chipped in the process. While I did my nails, I listened to quite a bit of Sword of Destiny and I think I'm on page 164 and there are, how many pages on here? In here. There's 374. So that's good. That's good. It's like all, almost, almost halfway. I am enjoying this. I think I like the first novella bind up more because I really, really loved all the fairy tale retellings and how like obvious they were that they were retellings. I don't know if these are retellings. I don't really know much about fairy tales unless they've been turned into a Disney movie. I don't know much about fairy tales from other parts of the world and other cultures. So these could be fairy tale retellings too. But Last Witch was like the classics. Like we had Snow White, we had Sleeping Beauty, we had, I don't know the original fairy tale, but it's like Shrek, where um, Fiona turns into Shrek at night and then human during the day. It was like that. So I just had a lot of fun. This one is fun too. We have Dandelion and I love him. I forget what his name was in the show. It's not Dandelion. I forget. I cannot wait in first season two. Hopefully. It probably got stopped because COVID happened. Like, I think season one was released right before um, the pandemic started. So I doubt they, like, got together and started filming. I don't know what's happening with season two, but I hope we get it soon. Um, but yeah, I still like this. Dandelion is great. The conversations between Dandelion and Geralt are amazing. Geralt's pretty fun, too. He's, like, a dry, like, in-your-face kind of humor like dandelion is funny and Geralt is funny only because he's just very dry and just cuts to the chase and does not take anything from anybody and I love it <laughs> um this one is also more about Geralt and Yennefer because they're just going back and forth trying to well Geralt's kind of trying to be with him be with her and Yennefer is on like some kind of mission to be able to um, have kids because she is a sorceress and for women if you want to be a sorceress you gotta gotta you have to cut out your uterus so yeah female sorcerers aka sorceresses 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 i'm just gonna say female sorcerers because i don't like saying sorceresses is that even a word anyway if you're a girl 
and you want to be a sorcerer, you can't have kids. And that's just that. And she really regrets doing that. So she's been trying to find a way to make that happen again. And she's on to something. She has met somebody, I think, that can do it. But the price is really, really high. So she needs Geralt's help. And yeah, so far so good. I've been liking the little stories. And I really cannot wait until we get one consistent storyline. So I'm so excited to finish this and then finally start the actual books because um yeah i just i just really want to start the books you know what i mean so yeah that's an update with my reading and now i'm going to read some more but first i'm going to practice some tarot because i've been trying to get into tarot cards i've always really wanted to um get into tarot cards like since the dawn of time i wanted to and now i have some decks so i'm just gonna like you know just play around with them but yeah that's the update and i will probably update you again tomorrow and hopefully you know what i'm gonna try to finish this book yeah that's not gonna happen i don't know why i even said that it's not gonna happen it's not gonna happen maybe but i don't think it will hello everybody it is sunday may 2nd and I completed my second book of the year, which was Sword of Destiny by Andre Zabkowski. I'm assuming you say that as Andre, but I could be wrong. I don't know. But yes, I finished this. This is the second bind up of novellas from the Witcher series, and it was a lot of fun. It was a lot of, I don't know, I just really enjoy this series. I feel like it's quite fast paced, very interesting and funny and just fun um and i kind of got into the mood of re-watching the netflix show so i i re-watched the first episode last night i don't know if i'll re-watch the whole season but maybe like um every once in a while i'll watch one of the sh one of the episodes but i really like this i think i pulled out all of the all of the books that i have in the series i think out of the two i still prefer um last wish um just because of the fairy tale aspect but it was still a lot of fun. There are six short stories in here and I really liked the, uh, A Little Sacrifice. I think that was the one with the mermaids. I also liked the last two, which is a sword, the Sword of Destiny and something more because the last two stories are in the show. All the other sh th stories in here were like plot lines and storylines were not familiar with me. Like I was not familiar with them. Um, but the last two short stories are definitely in the show and i love it i loved how it ended it was so cute and it ended like very similar to how the season one ended in the witcher series so if you know how that ended that's how this ended and it was just very cute there are some changes that were made obviously between the show and the book how that's how they are actually in the show i remember being very confused about the whole timeline situation but reading the books, it's like easier to understand because they're all individual short stories that have like an underlying little thing that's connecting them. And between each short story, a lot of time goes by. So I was able to understand that. But in the mo in the show, it like, I feel like it goes back and forth. I don't know. That's why I need to rewatch it to really see. I remember being very confused though. Um, but there's still a lot that happened in the show that I have not read about in the books yet. So I'm guessing that's going to happen in the first book, The Blood of Elves, because there's a lot of Yennefer material from the show that I still have not read about. And I really liked Yennefer and I thought her story was interesting. So I kind of want to just jump into the first book. I, I just... I just loved it and I'm craving like a full story now. I'm so happy I'm done with the novellas. I really liked them, but now I want like a full story. So I might just jump into Blood of Elves. Um, yeah. I'm really upset that it's a mass, mass market paperback. I like this, these copies because they're like kind of floppy. I love these covers and it's a good size as opposed to this. And as opposed to the, I don't really like, the, the, these covers aren't too bad, but I definitely prefer these covers and this size. Is this the same size? Oh, yeah, this one's slightly small. This one, this one is super annoying because it's like huge. It's huge. And it's also 
not the cover that I like. So that's fun. Yeah, I have like a hodgepodge mix and match of this series, but that's okay. I'm super excited to start this book. I don't know if I will start it in this vlog though, because I do have um, Daisy Jones and the Six borrowed on audiobook on my phone. So I might listen to that because I heard the audiobook is really fun. There's a full cast of narrators, which I love when that happens. So I might start listening to that today. I'm not too sure. But yeah. But other than that, I think that's all I have to update you guys on. I have no idea what I'm going to read next. Honestly, like I'm leaning towards this. I really am. This and Jay-Z Don Jay Dones. Jay-Z Dones and the Six. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Oh my gosh. Jay oh, I almost said it again. Daisy Jones. Daisy Jones. Yes. Those are going to be my, probably, my go-to books next. And I'm actually probably going to put this back on the shelf because I do want to read it. But those other two books are definitely taking priority right now. So I'm just going to stick that back in its spot. And yeah, we're, that's that. That's that for that. Cool. Okay, so now one of my favorite parts about finishing a book is writing it down in all of my little logs. I have two different like book track, book trackers, reading trackers kind of things, like two notebooks where I keep track of my books. The first one is like an entire catalog of all of the books that I own and I just cross them out once I've read them and then I like line them out if I've unhauled like as you can see those have been scratched out because I have unhauled those and then the ones with the x I have read so yeah I love it's just so satisfying being able to cross out or put an x in the ones that I have read because on the first page on my first page of this I only have two more books to read before this first page is entirely read and those books are chain of gold and king of scars and I have no idea when I'm going to read those. I'm not really interested at the moment. So, yeah. But I got to find... What's this called? Sword of Destiny. Where are you? Yeah, Sword of Destiny. And cross it out, baby. Here we go. Sweet. And then I also have this one, which I'm pretty sure I've shown before. But this is like my... Um, all the books I read within the years which is never really a lot, especially this year. Like, this is only my second book of the year, and it's May 2nd, so love that for me. And then I also have this little bookshelf that I fill in. Um, as you can see, there's only two spots from the, what's it called? Graphic novels that I read earlier in January, but then I have to put in, what did I read? What did I read? Oh, The Wicker King. I have to put The Wicker King and Sword of Destiny in here. So I just love that process of like filling in all of my trackers. It just makes me happy to see progress. Today is Wednesday, May 5th, and I finished listening to the audiobook for Daisy Jones and the Six. Um, I think I told you about that yesterday, but yeah, I finished listening to that, and I thought it was good. I mean, it has so much hype, and I thought it was okay. Like, I, I feel like this plot is definitely more the kind of storyline I would enjoy watching rather than reading 
or listening to. Um, because I, I've seen many movies and shows with this kind of plot with like the come up story of like this huge successful band and how they grew and how they fell. Like, I love stories like that. So I did really appreciate um, this novel, but I guess I think, I don't know. I, I already knew going into it that this was not my kind of story, so it's not like I'm surprised, but um, yeah, I didn't know that it was going to be a miniseries, I think on Amazon, but I'm not sure, but I'm really excited about that because, like I said, I've seen so many TV shows and movies with this plot, and I love these kinds of plots, so I'm really excited for the TV show. I think I will enjoy it way more. Um, I still enjoyed this. I'm definitely happy that I listened to it because I think I would have DNF'd it if I read it physically because I just don't feel like these kinds of stories are worth my time investing, especially reading physically because I'm such a slow reader. So yeah, I'd rather watch things like this. So I'm glad I listened to this and I think I might give um, the other one, which is, oh my gosh, the cover is green and she's like wearing a green dress. Um, what is it called? Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Something, Evelyn? Something? Something. I'm sure you know which one. I might give that a, a go on audio because I did enjoy it. So, you never know. I'm not like in a hurry to get to it, but yeah. I really, really loved the full cast. Um, I really liked the little ending and like the little, not like a plot twist, but like a, oh, okay. Didn't, didn't think that was going to happen, but there it is. Um, but yeah, I enjoyed my time. And an update for this book, Blood of Elves by Andrzej Sapkowski. I am on page one, no, I'm on page 86. Um, the chapters are pretty long. <laughs> They're like 50 pages, but again, this is mass market, so it might be different on like the regular sized book. But yeah, they're pretty long, but I'm enjoying this. The only thing I don't really enjoy is that it's pretty confusing. Politically, there are a lot of kingdoms and kings and queens and royalty and just a lot of names being thrown out there. There's elves, there's dwarves, there's humans, there's sorcerers and witches and all that stuff. And it's just hard to keep track of everything and there's no like appendix and there's no map. I know the Nilfgaardians and the Sintrians. Sintra and Nilfgaard. I know that they are at war or they just had a huge war but then I don't know where other people lie like I don't really understand who's on what team but I'm like I'm getting the gist that nobody really likes Nilfgaard so at least there's that and also I don't know if Nilfgaard is like the elves or what like I don't know I'm very confused about that but other than that this is a pretty fast-paced book it's pretty fun uh, we're getting to see where the Witcher lives, where Geralt, like, not lives, but where he kind of come from, like, the Witcher's Guild. And for some reason that makes no sense, I thought that Geralt was, like, the only Witcher left. Even though there's fully a Witcher in the series, like, in the Netflix show, there's, a, like, a whole other Witcher that we see. So I don't know why I thought that. And in all the other books, he, like, it, there's nothing in the books or the show that leads you to believe that he's the only one so i don't know why i thought he was the only one but he's not <laughs> yeah i'm really enjoying this um like i said 86 pages it's going well i'm really enjoying it hopefully it won't take long to get through this um in the meantime i have to find another audiobook to listen to uh, i have no idea like i don't really have anything else on my list um so I just have to go through my library and see what I've ha had on my wish list and just find something. But other than that, I think I had a pretty successful reading week. Let me see what I read. Um, I read The Wicker King, Sword of Destiny, and Daisy Jones and the Six. That is good. That is good. So yeah, that's going to be all for this week's vlog. I'll start another vlog probably tomorrow, which is Thursday. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next vlog. Thanks for watching. Bye.